I, I love this statement. Uh, if you punish the truth, you're asking to be lied oh, to. It's so true, though. Yeah, yeah. And, and this is a really interesting one because I've tried with some of my female friends uh, and women that I've dated before to have like these deep down rational conversations about, and sometimes we're going to talk about the quiet part and we say it out loud. Mm -hmm. And 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 in my mind, I'm like, okay, I want to bring you into this normal conversation that I would have with my business partners or other men. And when I try to do so, all they're they're feeling my answer instead of hearing it. And then it, it, like what you said before, you're punishing the truth. And so it gets to the point where it's like, I'm not lying, but there's certain parts where I feel like I have to leave out in order for us to be peaceful. Sure. I think yeah. that's part of it. Yeah. Um, women don't really want the truth. Like the truth is a hard thing to be, or maybe a better way to say it is they want the truth very selectively. Sometimes I think of women like an elementary school teacher who asks an apparently open-ended question but there's really one right answer in her mind. And if you give the wrong answer, she's gonna be like, oh yeah, that's an interesting idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It seems like she's open to any kind of response, but there's really one thing that she's fishing for and that's what gets the credit. That's what gets the reward, yeah. right? And if you don't give it, then good luck with that. But think about it the other way around, which is um, like in a professional context. If somebody were to ask you as a job applicant, well, what what makes you interested in our company? And you were to respond, well, I've always been passionate about not starving and I'd love to get some money and I'm yeah. willing to do whatever you want to do in exchange for those resources yeah. every two weeks. They're going to think this isn't a good culture fit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It's not going to work out. So uh, there's other ways. Um, think about inviting a girl back to your house after a good date. Maybe you've been fool headed enough to say, Hey, you know, this has been great. You want to go back to my place and fuck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you said the quiet part out loud. Yeah. Like, even everything, everything was going well, you've kind of like shattered the vibe by yeah. being yeah. too explicit. So, what do you have to say? Would you like to come back to my place for a drink? Maybe and, a cup of coffee? And at the same time, she cognitively knows you do want to have sex, but you're not saying it out loud. But I've also had women, when I've made that offer, say, Okay but we're not going to have sex, right? Yeah. And I say, absolutely, you know, not yeah. if you don't want to, no pressure. Yeah. We have, we're having sex 20 minutes later. Of course, of course. Like yes. I had a girl, I, I had, when I come back to my place for a drink, she said, I don't drink alcohol. I said, I have some lovely tap water at my house, which yeah. I'd love to give you a glass yeah. of my tap water. She yeah. says, I'd love to try your tap water. Yeah. She came back and we fucked. Yeah. So it's like, it's, <laughs> you can't be too direct with respect to seduction. Yeah. Yeah. It's about this vibe. It's about, it's supposed to just sort of happen, which of course also gives women plausible deniability as well. Right. I didn't think that this was going to happen. I certainly wasn't looking for this to happen. I never do this. Brothers, if you bring her back to your house and you take her clothes off and her bra and panties match, she had already made the decision yeah. along before the date happened right. that she was willing to do this, right? So the idea that she wasn't planning or she didn't think this was going to happen is probably not true. Like yeah. that can happen, but it doesn't happen in the vast And you also cases. talk about not going halfway. So if she asks you to go to a place that's so far out of the way where it's, you meet me for coffee 40 minutes away from your place, yeah, she's letting work. you know there is no, you said a date is a connection plus the possibility of sex. Yeah. If she put, takes you to a place where there is no possibility of sex, it's not a date. then it's not a date. Yeah, yeah. And you're wasting your own time then. Yeah. Right? Beautiful. Awesome. Tired of fake dating programs that don't work? Are you looking for a genuine way to meet women? Click the link in the description and I'll send you an exclusive invite to my elite networking community where you can learn to date high quality women today.